Where's the rest of the band? <laughs> Down in the pit. All right, can you see us? Good. I'm not in the frame. You're in my frame. It doesn't matter because it's a goofy picture. Smile. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> The groom's parents, Alan's parents, Alan McKenzie. Here it comes. <laughs> Teddy and his sister. It's Alan Wiseman. This is. and his beautiful daughter, Kate. We would like to uh, turn it over to Robert, Kate's father. He's written a sonnet in the Shakespearean style. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> yeah, Kate um, asked me to write a poem, and uh, I'm getting the feature. And I want to do something very traditional because you know, wedding is such a this is, yeah, that uh, 16th century English style. Oh, Kate's wedding sonnet. What should a father feel on such a day? Standing arm in arm at head of aisle, my precious girl about to give away. I mask my fluttering heart with a weak smile. Then music plays, and fateful walk begins. Oh, reckless lass, how quickly now you stride. So boldly past the crowd of eager friends, their eyes made teary by a glimpse of pride. And who this man who reaches out a hand to bring the blush of love to face so sweet? She pulls her arm from mine and takes her stand at his side now. I go to find my seat. What does a father feel at such an hour? Joy? Pride? Right? Wonder at love's awesome power. Oh. <laughs> well, now we move from the 16th century to the ancient tradition of hand passing. The uh, bride and groom have selected several important members of their family to come and tie their arms together as uh, colored cords to symbolize the various virtues of marriage. So first is uh, Alan's mother, Claire, who has the yellow cord at you and supports you. 
Robert's, uh, Robert, Kate's father, presents the next chord, the red chord of passion. <laughs> let this, uh, let this chord tie together both your uh, passion. <laughs> Next is uh, Alan's Aunt Clay, or uh, sorry, <laughs> Aunt Clay, uh, Ellen, sorry, Alan's Aunt Clay, <laughs> who has the uh, pink cord of spontaneity. Remember, guys, that life and memories are not forged in grand adventures, but the everyday life that you spend together. Live and live each life together as it was intended. And lastly, the final chord, the orange chord I present as Kate's brother, the orange chord of fun and joy. <laughs> hey, you guys, always have fun, keep your hearts young and pure, and uh, remember the person before you is not just a lifelong companion, but your best friend. Make sure you enjoy each and every moment together. Now at this point, we'll move on to their vows. Alan, you can read your vows. <coughs> <laughs> Kate, your friendship is dear to me, and I vow to never put any, never put up any roadblocks, verbal or emotional, that'll threaten our future. I value your opinions and intellect, and I vow to, vow to never undercut or discredit you. I vow to work with you on all the challenges we'll be facing, and never against you. No matter how hard times get, I vow to keep my head held high, keep us both working towards a positive outlook. I vow to be faithful in every sense of the word and to support you when you feel most vulnerable. I believe that you have a bright professional future ahead of you and I vow to do, to, vow to do everything I can to help you realize that future. I vow to give you my unconditional support. I vow to trust the decisions you make. I vow to never stop believing in our bright future together. And above all, I vow to uphold our everlasting love. nervous for her wedding. Believe it or not, this joy discussion gave me comfort because it gave me an opportunity to remember all the reasons why we were being married. Wise men, I love you for being the most kind, loving, respectful person I've ever known. You never, <laughs> you never fail to support me in my erratic life choices. I can always <laughs> trust you to rein me in when I need a most. <laughs> I'm ever confident in our future together, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us. I vow to give you my unconditional support. I vow to trust the decisions you make. I vow to never stop believing in our bright future together. And above all, I vow to uphold our everlasting love. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we'll move on to the rings, giving of the rings. The rings are an ancient symbol of love. They have no begin and end, and forever will embrace its wearer. Let this ring, let this ring, be my precious gift to you. Be my precious gift to you. As a sign, as a sign, forever after, forever after, you will be surrounded, you and, surrounded and and uh, encircled. You will be surrounded and encircled by my love, by my love. <coughs> and Kate, repeat after me, Alan. Let this be my precious gift as a sign that forever after you will be surrounded and encircled by my love. Last chance. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife.
This table, this table over here is getting a little rowdy. We, who's, who's causing all the trouble over here? Look at that! What's that? A silver goblet, where did that come from? Germany. It's a German bridal cup, and you can drink out of it at the same time. German! Wait, but you get the big one, and Alan gets the little one. Yeah, because I'm a woman. <laughs> where are you fellows from? Originally Texas, but now we're in Columbus. Oh, where in Texas? Oh. I went to college in San Antonio. I knew Alan from New York, and um, I live in Washington, D.C. Right? Oh, do you? Right in D.C. or Arlington? Or was that... uh, a couple miles from the border in Maryland. <laughs> and you fellows? Where are you from? How's that? Where do you live? I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, no, you came all this way for the wedding. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Good. I came for the beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. It was a lot of fun. You made it made it worthwhile. Great time. Yeah. Are you all professional musicians? No. I mean, most of us are. Yeah. No practice. Who, We're doing live. Do live. Who do you trust? <laughs> I played for the Columbus Brassworks Quintet. Oh, I'm just finishing my. Very nice. Okay, you sure sound good. We've had a great dinner, salmon. Just great. Everybody's going back for seconds. That's Aaron, that's Joy's son. His kids. There was a German uh, daughter born of nobility, who fell in love with a blacksmith and was challenged by the father, you may only marry my daughter if you can create a cup that you both can drink from simultaneously. Oh. Um, he accepted the challenge and succeeded marrying the young woman, and they lived happily ever after. So show us the cup. <laughs> drink from it together. <laughs> Just like Kate to get every last drop. <laughs> but um, as we know, I cry a lot. So instead, I wanted to present you guys with a gift and also a tool that I hope you use throughout your marriage. It's sitting in front of you. Unwrap it slowly. Um, <laughs> and keep this with you. Use it when you feel like you need it. 
any time for laughs, for joys, and also, um, as I said, a tool. Uh, with every turn and change you will have, you'll provide a different view for each other, um, to support each other, and see things from a different angle, see things from a new light. Oh, it's a kaleidoscope! <laughs> I know, it's kind of bizarre. Aww. And look into the light. Oh, that's such a cool oh, thing. It it's, it's a kaleidoscope, everybody. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. <laughs> um, so the kaleidoscope is going to change colors and change patterns, change views with every turn and rotation of your lives. So please use it and think of each other. Yay! I'm a bit uncertain about that night Ray was referencing. <laughs> but <clears throat> getting beyond that, I've been asked to thank all of you for coming. And, you know, no matter what any of us did, and really it was Kate and Alan and Kate's mom, Chris, and a lot of different people put a lot into today, but it really wouldn't have been anything. It just kept the energy you all brought. And it was, in my mind, uh, worth every every effort, every cent, all the hassle we put up with, because you you made it all worthwhile. And I, 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 if I think that way, I'm sure that Kate and Alan are feeling the same way. Uh, so thank you very much. I would also like to thank especially the musicians. Uh, some of them came from very far away to perform for you today.